Lil Wayne and Birdman. Y'all have built an empire, Cash Money Records. And you mean to tell me, Birdman, you can't pay this man? You've been cheating this man all this time? You screwed him out of $70 million. I mean, come on now. Can y'all just kiss and make up? Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we do reviews and hip hop news. In the wake of Lil Wayne and the whole Birdman drama, I decided I'm gonna review the Carter. Hold on to your teenage daughter, Lil Wayne's The Carter. This is a very, very classic album. This project right here basically brought back cash money to its forefront when the, all of the members, all the producers or whatever, left Cash Money Records. Lil Wayne by himself brought Cash Money back up to his threshold. I mean, this right here just started a whole new generation and whole brand new perspective from Lil Wayne. Let's talk about the cover. The cover cover it looks pretty good it looks okay it's decent but just remind just to remind you this is a Lil Wayne cover all the rest of the covers he came out with was had like an old kind of texture graphics or whatever and whatnot but this ad this album right here was very different from all the other artwork he had under his other three albums let's talk about the likes one thing I like about this classic album is very, very versatile and lyrical. One thing we know about Lil Wayne is he's a very versatile artist and lyrical artist. Like every, almost every song on this album is very lyrical and it just surprised me. Actually, this is the first album that just really woke me up on Lil Wayne. Even from all the intros and the skits, he describes what the Carter is. And I just thought that by him describing that in this album was very smart and very, very creative. My favorite track on this album is My Dolls. I miss my dolls. Man, before this album came out, Juve, Turk, and BG made all kind of diss records towards Cash Money. But besides of Lil Wayne making a diss song, he actually made a song where he missed his friends. Like, you gotta think about it. These guys have been through a lot. And just by him making that song, I Miss My Dogs, that was very emotional for me and his fan base. Let's talk about my dislikes. The album is pretty good. I think the only thing I dislike about this album is that if he left off a couple of songs on this album. I think it would have been like a ultra classic. Like it's already, it's already a good album. But I think if it broke it down to 16 or 17 tracks, it would have been a real, real classic. He got 21 tracks on there, but I think if he took off maybe like three or four songs, it would have been a real classic. And one thing I don't like about this album is Birdman. Birdman didn't have to rap on her. And Manny Fresh didn't have to put his little infonyms on her or whatnot. But, but just by him on the skits and all that, I think that was really helpful. But just Birdman, let's, let's just be real. Birdman cannot rap. My least favorite track, if I had to choose one, is Hoes. Because Manny Fresh, I mean, you know, Manny Fresh is like a real... Uh, character on records and him by being on this hook I did, I wasn't really feeling it and the beat was mediocre but overall the album was pretty good with his production but let me rate this album this classic Lil Wayne the Carter album I'm gonna have to give this a 9 out of 10 you cannot deny that this right here is a revolutionary album that brought back cash money and once you once you hear it I mean it's amazing it especially it just brings back so many memories of back around 2000 I think it came out in 2005 but it's a real good classic album I give it a 9 out of 10 so what do you think about Lil Wayne's The Carter do you like it do you hate it do you masturbate by looking at this <laughs> leave your comments below hit like make sure you share this video and until next time this has been black tv